You've probably heard of the very popular Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. These neither feel like a cream shadow nor do they feel like a pressed powder shadow. They're somewhere in between and almost feel like a putty. You see, when you press it in, it stays there. But I'm not sure what is in this formula. It's super pigmented and looks stunning. So how do you actually use them? Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. I'm here to answer that question. Today we'll be addressing the Super Shock Shadows by ColourPop. I'm going to be telling you all about it and how to use it step by step. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> As always, I'm going to start with my brows and for that I'm using my favorite brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and I'm using the shade 4. First, I like to use the spoolie in the back to brush my hair downward so I can clearly see on top and fill that in. I only fill in the sparse areas and then I use the spoolie again to brush my brow hair upwards so I can clearly see at the bottom and fill in just the sparse areas again. Next, I'm going to be using a concealer. This is the Milani Concealer in the shade 145 to clean up underneath the brows. And this will also go on my lid as a base for the eyeshadows. You can also use an eyeshadow primer if you're not comfortable with concealers. A lot of times if you have very oily lids, the concealers will secrete extra oil and that can mess up the eyeshadows. With me, I don't have that problem. But if you do, I would strongly recommend using a primer instead. Using a dry sponge, I'm going to even out the concealer on my lid and that's also going to absorb some of that excess concealer, leaving behind a thin layer over my lid. The Super Shock shadows have different finishes, mainly four kinds. They come in mattes, satins, ultra glitter and ultra metallic. I've tried every combination with these and what works best is using a matte eyeshadow wherever you want, mostly above the crease and at the crease and in the outer corner and every other finish on the lid. Before I use the matte eyeshadows at the crease, I like to lightly set my crease with a translucent powder to make the blending easy. I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is a very finely sifted powder and I'm using very little just to set above the crease and not my lid. I'm going to start with this matte eyeshadow called Monkey Business. With my Sigma E40 blending brush, I'm going to start blending this at the crease very softly and I'm going to keep adding color till I'm happy with the intensity. The key is to take it really slow as you add more color to build upon it. If you add too much eyeshadow, it can look blotchy. After I'm done blending with my blending brush, I like to use a bigger brush. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. It's super soft, but at the same time, pretty dense. I like to use this to blend the crease out further. All I'm going to do is dab over it and keep on blending. And this is a clean brush, so it's not going to add any extra color to it, but it's going to buff it out and it'll almost look like a cloud. To deepen the crease further, I'm going to be using Chamomile. This is another matte eyeshadow. This is a deeper shade of what I just used. So I'm going to be using it again with the blending brush in the outer corner. And then using the e.l.f. brush, I'm going to further buff this out so it blends in with the first transition shade. After that, I'm also going to be using it in the outer corner of my eye with a blending brush. And then again with the large e.l.f. brush, I'm going to further buff it out. Now this particular eyeshadow is actually a super shock blush. So it's actually a blush. Nice thing about super shock shadows is it's multi-purpose. You can use it on your eyes, you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it as a highlighter. So that's the fun part about it. Next, we are moving on to my personal favorites, the ultra glitters and the glitters and the satins. But before that, I'm going to quickly use the dry sponge again to remove any creasing that might have happened on my lid. Because if you remember, we did not set the lid with any powder. 
I'm going to first start with this beautiful ultra glitter shadow called Peeps. It's almost like a pista green and I like to apply it with my finger. I'm going to lightly dab it all over my lid. That's going to give you the maximum pigment payoff. And then using a blending brush, I'm going to dip this into the same eyeshadow to blend out the edges. It's harder to give that soft touch around the edges with your finger and that's where the blending brush comes in handy. Now here's a super shock shadow that I use often. This is one of my favorites. It's called Balloon Pop and it's an ultra glitter. I will use this to highlight my inner corner with my finger. And then with a flat shader brush from Do Color, I'm going to drag some of that eyeshadow onto the crease. Now the reason I did not set my lids with any powder is because when you use a glitter or a shimmer or a metallic eyeshadow, they cling on better to something when it's tacky. So when you don't set the concealer with any powder, it becomes tacky. So these cling on to that and the pigment payoff is fantastic. Now if you set your lids with powder, it becomes slippery and they will just not show. In my lower lash line, I'm going to first blend out the lighter shade of matte called Monkey Business with a blending brush. And then I'm dipping into Chamomile, the deeper shade of matte eyeshadow with a flat definer brush by Folklore. I'm going to first use it very close to my lashes in my lower lash line. And then I'm going to lightly smoke it out in the outer corner of my upper lash line. That'll give you a barely there super soft smoky wing. At the same time, it'll lift the outer corner, giving your eyes an elongated look. You can finish this up the way you prefer. I'm going to use some mascara, but before that I'm curling my lashes. I'm using my Sally Hansen Curler. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Strength and Length Mascara. This is by Bare Minerals. You can line your lashes, you can line your waterline, you can use false lashes, you can pretty much do whatever you want and it'll look fantastic. And here's the finished look, super easy to use. These eyeshadows are to die for, super pigmented, so easy to travel with. You just need to know where to use what the eyeshadow placement and how to use it. And I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and do check out the description box for all the good stuff, including all the products that I use today, along with links to my social media in case you plan to follow me there. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.